evening. Here's the news at 7. I am John Onwaka. Lagos State Governor Babagide Songwulu has, has emphasized the commitment of, the, of his administration in implementing more innovative solutions to address traffic challenges. The governor applauded the Lagos State Parking Authority, LASPA, for its concept of the on-street parking scheme aimed at significantly alleviating traffic congestion within the state. Governor Songwulu who understood the need to implement more innovative strategies outlined in the Lagos State Transport Master Plan, including the establishment of LASPA in 2021, promised further support for initiatives like the on-street parking scheme. Sawul urged stakeholders to comply with the Lagos State Parking Policy, emphasizing the administration's zero-tolerance policy for flouting transport regulations. On our part, the general manager of LASPA, ADBC Adelabu, said that the launch of the on-street parking scheme is a significant step by the agency in addressing parking challenges across Lagos State, noting the urgent need to manage parking effectively amidst the increasing population and vehicle influx into Lagos State. Adelabu revealed that with the over 1.2 million registered vehicles and approximately 224 vehicles per kilometer of road space, the demand for parking spaces in the commercial nav center has intensified, impacting traffic flow and road safety. Lagos State Deputy Governor Obafemi Amzad says more collaboration between the state government and non-government organizations, NGOs, will enhance the general performance and successful delivery of good governance to the people of Nigeria. Hamzat was stated this on Friday at the Old Nigeria Rotary Convention, themed Hope Without Borders, said a call for collaboration between imp becomes imperative because the government lacks the entire resources needed for the social economic needs of the citizenry. The deputy governor noted that while the government is building up a new Nigeria, reality dictates that a non that other non-government actors must make the necessary changes that support the drive of government. According to him, no government in the world possesses all the necessary capacity to fulfill the developmental needs of its people. He added that despite the insufficient resources, the number of things competing for the attention of the government are numerous and the needs of the citizenry far outweigh the time and resources available. The chairman, Lagos State House of Assembly Committee on Waterfront, Bolaho Shishao, has emphasized the imperative of empowering the youth to become skilled professionals, thus contributing meaningfully to their communities. Shishao, who represents a Tiosa constituency too, stated this as he distributed 1,000 free jam forms to enable young constituents pursue higher education. The lawmaker, while emphasizing human capital development, retreated his unwavering commitment to education, stressing its pivotal role in national progress. We need to ensure that our youth, our children get into university to be able to study the course of their desire so that they can become professionals and be useful to the community. As we all know, in the past, everything has always been infrastructure, infrastructure, infrastructure. But these days, it is human capital development and each, every nation is as strong and as prosperous as the human capital that they have. And our youth are the most critical demography of the people that we need to develop. Ishao said education is key and a nation can only develop as robustly as its educational system. He added that investing in the youth translates to invest in the future and nurturing the next generation of leaders and innovators. Lagos State Government will from Monday, 19th February 2024, commence full enforcement of the ban on usage and distribution of styrofoam food containers across the state. Commissioner for the Environment and Water Resources, Takumba Wahab, stated this during the stakeholders' engagement on solid waste management with Lagos State market leaders. Wahab said enforcement officers from the Lagos State Environmental Sanitation Corps, like guess, environmental health officials, and Loma.
police and the ministry will go after all those having the styrofoams in their shops, stores or outlets and confiscate them. He emphasized that styrofoam usage had caused enough damage to the health of the residents and the state of the, gov and, and the, state of the environment for so many years and the government is determined to encourage viable option for styrofoam containers across the metropolis. The commission appealed to market leaders to be reminded that cleanliness is next to godliness and as such, they must ensure that a clean environment remains a priority always. Lagos State Government has charged all internal stakeholders on the execution of initiatives in the state's development, development plan 2052 in driving the, the, municipal, the, municip, the municipality to become Africa's model megacity. Speaking at the stakeholders' parley, which had in attendance permanent secretaries, heads of planning units, and representatives of ministries, departments, and agencies, NDAs, as well as development partners. The Commissioner for Economic Planning and Budget, Okwe George, urged the major players to actualize the vision of the state by effectively implementing the LSDP 2052 across all sectors of levels of governance. George stated that the plan target fostering a thriving economy to modernize infrastructure, promote human-centric cities, and ensure effective governance. In his welcome address, the special advisor to the Governor Economic Planning and Budget, Lekon Balogu, identified the need to execute plans and deliver lockdown targets related to NDAs, track and report the progress, while also aligning numerous stakeholders on the need to implement initiatives in line with the LSDP 2052 for more collaboration and implementations of these objectives. UNICEF's social policy manager, Mohammed Okorie, noted that the realization of the state vision hinges upon the effective implementation of the LSDP 2052 across all sectors and level of governance. According to him, this requires a concerted effort from all stakeholders, including government agencies, private sector entities, civil society organizations, and the general populace. And that's our news. But just before we go, carry out proper and adequate checks on your vehicles before setting out. You can follow and you can follow us and like all our various social media platforms. X for money Twitter. Lagos Traffic 961. Instagram, Lagos Traffic Radio 961. Watch us live on Facebook, Lagos Traffic Radio 96.1 FM. On YouTube, subscribe and watch all our previous programs and news on our channel, Traffic Radio 961. Did you know that the Saulu administration empowered over 1,000 residents at the third phase of the mega empowerment program? You can get more details on the Lagos State Government website. For contact with the newsroom, send a message to Lagos Traffic Radio at lagosstate.gov.ng. That ends the news broadcast compiled by Zainab Adebeshi. I am John Omwaka. Thank you very much for listening.